Telecoms Group BT has paid pound 12.5 BN to buy mobile operator EE. The takeover creates a communications giant covering fixed line phones, broadband, mobile and TV. The stock market greeted the move by sending BT shares up more than 5%, the highest since 2001, when it sold off its old mobile operation O2. But rivals TalkTalk Talk and Vodafone have already called for competition authorities to step in and force BT to spin off its open reach operation. The deal sees BT buying all EE shares currently held by Orange and Deutsche Telekom. Rudolf van der Berg, when you go from 4 to 3 you go to more complex deals and higher cost. Then Deutsche Telekom will receive 12% in the new combined business and have a seat on the board. Orange will receive a 4% stake, as well as about pound 3.4 BN in cash. The deal more than trebles BT's retail customers adding the 10 million it already had to EE's 24.5 million direct mobile subscribers. Competition issues. But the deal puts BT in what many see as a dominant position in the market. TalkTalk Talk and Vodafone say regulators should force BT to spin off its open reach fixed line division, which enables other telecoms companies to access its network. Vodafone chief executive Vittorio Colau said, Ideally, a structural separation of open reach would be optimal. BT's chief executive Gavin Patterson said he did not expect competition authorities to impose stringent remedies and the deal would need to be scrutinized in Britain, rather than Brussels. BT says it now plans to raise pound 1BN through a placing of new shares to help fund the deal. It said in a statement, the combination of EE and BT will provide customers with innovative, seamless services that combine the power of fiber broadband with Wi-Fi and advanced mobile capabilities. BT says that within four years, the deal will be saving it £360 million a year in terms of operating costs and capital investment. It added that by combining the two businesses, it should be able to generate an extra pound 1.6 BN a year in sales. BT Chief Executive Gavin Patterson said, this is a major milestone for BT as it will allow us to accelerate our mobility plans and increase our investment in them. He said the money being spent on the deal did not affect its plans ahead of the multi-billion pound Premier League rights auction, where it is in tough competition with rival Sky. Consolidation The mobile phone market is expected to consolidate further. Hutchison Wampoa, which owns Rival 3, is said to be in talks to buy O2. There has been speculation that Virgin may tie up with Vodafone. Vodafone is to offer broadband services to UK households from this spring. But at present, it is still fighting to return to growth. On Thursday, it reported that UK revenues showed a slight rise, 0.9%, in the last three months of 2014, while European sales were still declining. Meanwhile, Sky has also announced the launch of its own mobile service, through a deal with O2S Network. Dan Ridsdale, analyst at Edison Investment Research, said, in the space of a few months, the UK telecoms landscape has changed enormously. As the majors fill in the gaps in their offerings, competition to offer multiplay bundles is going to step up significantly. Whether this will be beneficial for consumers is a very different question. The bundling of services makes it much more difficult to compare pricing, while more premium TV content is likely to move away from free-to-air. The BTEE deal is expected to be finalized by March next year, subject to approval by shareholders of BT and scrutiny from the Competition and Markets Authority.